we both got to head to the airport SFO from our office in Soma on Mission Street in San Francisco. So we're trying to figure out. Katie's going to take the Uber and I'm going to take the BART, which one's faster, at 2 o'clock on a Friday. I'm legit running to the BART right now because when it comes to competitions, I don't play. Alright, just almost ran into a major hiccup. I realized I forgot my clipper card at the office, so I had to buy a temporary pass. Fortunately, most other business travelers will have to do this as well, so I think it's pretty accurate to the timing. Alright, so I looked at Uber versus Lyft, and Lyft was actually um, more than $15 cheaper, so I'm going to take that to the airport. So one of the downfalls of taking Uber or Lyft is that you can run into situations like I'm running into right now where my Lyft driver just got pulled over by a cop for um, parking in a bus lane. All right, slight 10 minute delay, but now we are on our way to the San Francisco airport and I am very comfortable in my lift, ready to go. It's been about 30 minutes since I left the office and I have four more stops to go until I reach SFO, but then I still have to catch the air train to get to Terminal 3. So something else that you'll run into when you take a car to the airport in San Francisco on a Friday is traffic. So if you're a business traveler and you have a tight schedule and you need to get to your flight on time, make sure you leave early. Taking a car to the airport is so much better than taking a train underground because you have full internet access on your phone and so you can do things like answer emails, answer Slack messages, and keep communicating with your team all while you're commuting to the airport. Alright, we finally made it to the airport, but I still have to go catch the air train and meet Katie in Terminal 3. It looks like she's beat me. Alright, I made it, but no! She got here first! <laughs> no! Here she comes! Hey Team Bart! <laughs>